I introduced the map reading last time, and I told you that the map reading you have, you need to know your, the, your direction, you need to know every direction. I told you your front, like we have the four points, okay? Now, in these four points, we have this representing what? The north. The north. So we have north, and this representing what? East, and this representing south, and this representing what? West. So that means your, your if you place this this way, your front is your north, your back is your south. So you know, normally, normally we don't walk backwards, we walk forward. So normally, movement goes towards the north. So the northern part is always movement goes. So in IELTS, when they say head north, or towards the north, or northeast, you know that it's coming from the south and heading forward. So this is your forward, this is your backward. And we have this way, we we'll call it what? Northeast, so we have the northeast. And we have the other direction. We'll call it what? Northwest. North west. We have this direction. We'll call it what? Southwest. So we'll have it as south. South. East, sorry. The southeast. Then we have this direction as what? Southwest. So we have south west. So this is a, this is a cardinal point. And you also note that in Nigeria, we have six geopolitical zones. Like, I'm bringing in Nigerian, like, our local background, OK? In Nigeria, we have six geopolitical zones. And you know that um, there is one we call North Central. They are here, OK? They are not in any of these zone zones. They form their own North Central. Like, you have the Abuja, Kogi, Nasarawa, Niger. They are all in North Central. Then we have the ones that they are not here or here. So they form the world south south like the edo rivers delta they all form the south south now but in the world map we only have this four so we have the northeast the northwest the southeast and the southwest and please you need to know that you need to know that this represents your left hand side your left hand side this represents your right hand side why this represents forward this is present backwards. Now, in time, this can also be what? Six o'clock. OK? Six o'clock. And this can be what? Three o'clock. This can be what? Twelve. But this can be what? Nine. So you can also use that. To, they can use that. So you need to know these things very well to know how the map works. Now, I also gave you a symbol like when you have a desk like this, and you have another desk like this. Watch it. And you have a movement. There's a movement like this. See, so there's a movement. And the arrow is pointing this way. And you have a movement. And you know that there is a compass somewhere written. The compass somewhere written as your north and your east 
your west and south. That is how high map is. So, and they tell you, as you walk through the pathway, so this is a tree, so you walk through the pathway, you arrive at the sporting facility. So this is a sporting facility, okay? And this represents the A, B, and C, okay? And they said, the Gens village, okay, let me, I don't want to use it, I don't want to use it, I don't want to make it, how would I put it? They said, okay, the Gens village, okay, this become, let's say, this is Gens village, this is Gens village, no. I want to put it this way so it make it make it make sense. Okay, so this is what this is um, hospital, and this is volleyball stadium, and um, so then watch me. I want to do something again. Um, this is dash, they didn't mention it, so you have to locate dash. And also have uh, another dash again, somewhere here. Okay, so another dash again. So, so that, that represent D. And they tell you, okay, um, the Gaines Village is beside the volleyball stadium. What should be the answer there? Hmm? It's C, right? Why, because this is what? Beside, why there's connection here? But I say the sporting facility. Uh, no, the cafeteria is near to the volleyball stadium. Near to the volleyball stadium, the answer becomes this. It's not this. This is near to. Why this one is next to? Next to, near to. Are you getting it now? Near to, next to, beside, beside. Near to, or close to, next to, next to, beside. You need to be very careful with prepositions to see how you work. How, so you will be using these prepositions like next to, near to, near, near to, behind, beside, in front of, opposite, and all that uh, types of questions. So that's what we use in the map. So let's have a map section now. Let's go for the first map section. Look at the question. Okay. So we're going to find the answers now. We're going to look at okay, the answers. So the instruction there is that you have to label which is which. Please look at it. If you want to find the answer, okay, please locate the streets. You can see, you see that St. George Road you can look at St. George Road. Look at St. George Road in your script paper. Now, the right-hand side of St. George is the east. The up of St. George is what? The north. The left of St. George is the west of St. George. So when the audio say west of St. George, you should know that it's talking about the left side of St. George. Now, if you look at Conwell, can you look at Conwell Road? Look at Conwell Road. You can see the north side of Conwell Road still remains upward. You have the upward of Conway Road. Conway Road now, north, is like A and B. A and B is Conway Road north. That is the north. Uh -huh. The south is E. So all the roads, please be careful with the roads when you hear north of this road. So the road should be a clue to answer the question. Now one option, the outcome of this uh, uh, practice, some of you will achieve uh, five over five, while some will achieve three over five, while some will get just one. Let's see how it's gonna work. So let's play the audio. I'm playing the audio. So I would like you to answer question one, uh, 11 to 5. 15, 11 to 15, sorry. Section 2. You will hear a talk about the main points of interest and the improvements made in the area. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 15. Look at it, question 11 to 15. So that's the question 11 to 15. 11 
12, 13, 14. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 15. Thank you all for coming to our community meeting. As you know, we're excited to unveil our improvement plan as we look forward to the influx of tourists in the summer months. I'll start with a quick overview of the main points of interest in the area for anyone who may not quite know his or her way around yet, and then I'll get to the improvements made. First off is my favourite, the Science Museum, which is on the corner of St George Road. If you have not visited yet, I encourage you to go before the busy season. It is absolutely spectacular. There is even a flight simulator you can try out. Just west of the Science Museum is the National History Museum. It's a sight not to be missed as well, with each floor devoted to a different era in our nation's history. There are special exhibits for children with interactive games and fun history lessons too. If you're looking for parking, it is available on the intersection of Queen Street and South King Street in the car park. Standard hourly and daily rates do apply. The best place for souvenirs is the shopping mall, though it gets extremely busy during peak times. You can get there from the tube or the entrance on Timber Road, just south of Cornwell Road. This area has students everywhere, usually from the primary school across the street from the shopping mall. Classes often take field trips and engage in guided tours through the area. So that's the overview of the main sites. And hopefully by now, I've given you a general idea of the area. All right, so let's look at it. Science Museum is the said by the corner of St. George Road. And what is the corner of St. George Road? B. B, so the answer is B. So I know some of you got that correctly. So the, some of you got the answer as B, correct? Who failed that? I didn't even know what to write. <laughs> <laughs> but you use Google Map. You, you don't understand. I, I just read the Okay, you, okay you, don't, you don't understand. Uh, okay, don't worry. Don't worry. National History Museum is where? That is the west of what? Science Museum. So the answer is what? A. A. That's a, a good one. Bonus. All right? That's, that's fine. Please note that your answer should be in capital letter, just like the way you saw it. West of what science museum? Yes. Then car park, that's a bonus. Car park is what? That's a bonus, because IELTS will provide a bonus for you. OK, now, this is where most of you are going to have an issue, because shopping mall and primary school. The shopping mall is entrance of Timber Road and south of Conway Road. And can you look at, where is Conway Road South? Conway Road South, what is south of Conway Road? South of Conway Road is what? E. South of Conway, entrance of Timber Road and south of Conway Road. Can you look at it? Look at the entrance of Timber Road. And south of Conway Road. Entrance of Timber Road. Look at it again. What is entrance of Timber Road? You can see Timber Road, right? Yeah. Then south of Conway Road, not south of Timber. I say south of Conway. Not south of Timber. So south of Conway is C, you see. And the primary school is across the street. That is D. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who got 5-5? Five five? But you almost changed your mind. So, well, if I play it again, you still stick to your answer. If you don't, you get to listen. I'm going to play it again. But I know, so I told you Saul will be 1 over 5. Saul will be 3 over 5. I know Saul will be 3 over 5. And Saul will be 5 over 5. So I'm playing it again one more time. No, this is my prediction. You must get it. You must learn it. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 15. Thank you all for coming to our community meeting. As you know, we're excited to unveil our improvement plan as we look forward to the influx of tourists in the summer months. I'll start with a quick overview of the main points of interest in the area for anyone who may not quite know his or her way around yet, and then I'll get to the improvements made. First off is my favourite, the Science Museum, which is on the corner of St George Road. If you have not visited yet, I encourage you to go before the busy season. It is absolutely spectacular. There is even a flight simulator you can try out. Just west of the Science Museum is the National History Museum. It's a sight not to be missed as well, with each floor devoted to a different era in our nation's history. 
There are special exhibits for children with interactive games and fun history lessons too. If you're looking for parking, it is available on the intersection of Queen Street and South King Street in the car park. Standard hourly and daily rates do apply. The best place for souvenirs is the shopping mall, though it gets extremely busy during peak times. You can get there from the tube or the entrance on Timber Road, just south of Cornwell Road. This area has students everywhere, usually from the primary school across the street from the shopping mall. Classes often take field trips and engage in guided tours through the area. So that's the overview of the main sites, and hopefully by now I've given you a general idea of the area. You get it now, right? Yes, now. Right. Now you understand. I think you need to cultivate the habit of using the Google Map. You have it on your phone, your smartphones. So most times when you use Google Map, you navigate. And Google will tell you, head north. Some of you are looking for your north. Don't know where your north is. So the Google Map, the more you use map, because the essence of the map reading is, you know, the IELT is not just a language test. It's a skill test. They're trying to know how skillful. Because when you're coming to leave work and study in an environment, an English environment, you should know how to use your map. Because you don't need to go to stop someone else asking the person, please, where is the road to this place? You should know how to use your map to find your location. So we'll be having more of this map location, map reading. We still have three more of the map reading to come. And you can see there's one to come. That is a map of a hospital. So the last one, we have a map of a hospital. A map of a hospital. Uh, so that's just to get a back, back page. So you have to find out um, the options that goes for each of them. So please look at the map. Please look around the map. Look at, you can see nurse's desk. Please look at it. Most times when they tell you you have some time to look at question one to five, what you expect to do is look at it. So look at, you can see clock room. You can see nurse's desk. You can see control laboratory. You can see therapy room. Now, there are other spaces, like the F, E, H, there are rooms. They want you to fill it, to get it, okay? So where is reception? Where is Mr. Green's room? And where is medical record office? So I'm going to play this now, and I want us to do this. So I'm playing the audio. Please listen, listen carefully, and answer the question. Now listen and answer questions 16 to 20. Now, please look at the map I've given you of the Healthy Hearing Medical Clinic and Surgery. For those not familiar with our practice, reception can be found through the main door at the end of the corridor. If your consultation is booked with Mr. Green, you need to go through the main door and turn right by the nurse's desk. And his office is at the end of the corridor on your left-hand side. If you need to alter any of your personal details, Please visit our secretary at the Office for Medical Records, which you will find next to the therapy room. If you are awaiting surgery, please first check in with reception before taking the first door on the right after you enter the clinic. Finally, in the event that you feel disappointed with any of the services we have provided, or have any further questions, please locate our manager's office which can be found near the office for medical records between two closets. If you have any more questions about the Healthy Hearing Medical Clinic and Surgery, please do not hesitate to contact us at 01256-111-111. That is the end of section two. You... <laughs> That's funny, right? <laughs> this is working in a clinic or hospital. You should know this one. Now. <laughs> so I'm talking about the nurses and doctors. All right, so reception. You say you walk in through the corridor. Walking through the corridor. Can you see when you walk? What is it? Imagine yourself walking into the walk yourself into the corridor. You need to walk from. You don't walk from the north. You walk from the south. So walking through the corridor, at the end of the corridor. End of the corridor is what? 
F, so that's your answer. So F is the answer, F. Then Mr. Green's room, Mr. Green's room, Mr. Green room, you need to first of all, walk in through the main, court, main door and turn right by the nurse's desk. So where is the nurse's desk? Look at the nurse's desk somewhere there. So you turn right by the nurse's desk and his room is at the end of that corridor at your left hand side. What is that? H. H. So that is you have H. Then medical record office is next to the therapy room. Next to the therapy room. So what is your answer? Eh? That is beside the therapy room. <laughs> so the answer is what? A. A. Thank you. Who got that? That was very clever. <laughs> I just said this now, I know someone forget themselves. Okay. The surgery room, the surgery room is near to the office for the, the medical record. Uh, no, the surgery room is you first check into the second reception and turn right at the first door of the entrance. What's the first door of the entrance? No, the first door of the entrance is D. Look at it. Entrance first door when you enter is D. Okay, manager's office. The manager's office is near to the office for medical records and between two closets. And that is what? C. You have your C in capital. Who got five five? Anyone? Four. Came close, that's fine. <laughs> so who fed all? We fed all. Well, at least they will suddenly give you one or two that can help you. So the only most important thing in map reading is make a movement. Don't remain stagnant. Some of you will just stay in one place and keep moving. No. You need to make a movement as the audio is talking to you, you're making a movement. You need to imagine yourself moving. But well, we can write on the question paper, right? It, the yes. Yeah. In the exam, you know, in the exam, uh, you have to do everything in your question paper. And you, have, you know, you're doing that in 30 minutes. So you'll be given 10 minutes additional time to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. So you can do your question paper. But remember, you'll be using your pencil, OK? You'll be using the pencil, not the pen. You'll be using the pencil. All right. All right, so 